back to Long Crime, everybody. So, R&B singer R. Kelly is facing a series of allegations of sexual abuse following the release of the Lifetime series Surviving R. Kelly, which documented how Kelly allegedly sadistically abused numerous women, even holding them against their will. Currently, there's an investigation underway in Georgia, and the Cook County, Illinois prosecutor has said that she encouraged alleged victims to come forward. So there's a lot to talk about here, and we have a special guest to talk more about this. The attorney for Mr. Kelly, Stephen Greenberg, is back with us here on Law and Crime. Stephen, it's good to see you. Good morning. How are you? Good. So we know that Mr. Kelly and your team are denying these allegations. But to clarify, is it denying that he well, we're, knows we're denying these... them because they're false. Well, well let, me, well, let me ask you a question. Is it false that he doesn't know them, that he never was in a relationship with them, or that he never abused them? So I didn't watch uh, the documentary. I saw bits and pieces of it. He didn't watch any of it. It's certainly false. He never abused anybody. Let me let me start with that. Uh, but we haven't done a photo array and identified all of the women. Some of the women he may know. Some of the women he may have uh, met at a party or something like that and not remember. He's obviously met a lot of women. He's been a rock star for many, many years. And there's groupies all the time, but there's just no merit to any of the allegations. You know what I'm going to have to ask you? If you haven't watched the documentary or Mr. Kelly hasn't watched it, how do you know it's false? Because he didn't do those things. He didn't sexually abuse anyone. He didn't hold anyone hostage. He didn't physically beat anyone. He didn't force anyone to do anything against their will. I don't have to watch someone accuse somebody of that to know that it's a false accusation if I didn't do it. And there's continuing allegations that he's even holding women currently uh, that haven't. And, for example, I want to just mention um, there's Timothy and Jenilyn Savage. They've said that, uh, that Mr. Kelly is holding their daughter, Jocelyn, against her will. What would you say to them? I, I think that's laughable. First of all, I've talked to Jocelyn a number of times. She's perfectly fine. But what really uh, points out that that's not a true allegation is there is – Video of Jocelyn shopping, I think TMZ shot it, uh, last year. She's in Beverly Hills. Kelly's in Chicago at the time, so clearly he's not holding her hostage. She's going from store to store. She's free to go about as she wants. It's just absolutely a, a made-up allegation. I'm so sorry that they have claim... a bad relationship. So, okay, so is it your claim that these women are coming forward because they feel either jilted, they want fame? What is, is it all a conspiracy? They're coming together? Because the argument against this, it seems kind of suspicious that all of the women would come forward with lies. Well, I, I don't know that all of the women have come forward with lies because Mr. Kelly has been with dozens, if not hundreds of women over, over the course of his career. Uh, and, and some of the women are saying this. Uh, Ex-wife is, is saying things. Ex-wives tend to do those kinds of things sometimes. But the allegations are just patently false. Why people come forward and say these things, I don't know. Why people go on Jerry Springer or Maury Povich or trash shows like that, I don't know. What I can tell you is that we have pretty good evidence and we're developing it and we'll go public with it when the time's appropriate, probably in the form of a lawsuit, that much of the series was scripted, edited, uh, contrived, and that the producers were not being truthful with the public, and these things just never happened. So you do plan on filing a potential defamation lawsuit against the creators of the Lifetime series. What about, uh, I mean, I'm, please confirm that, and, and against any participant in the series, any of the alleged accusers, do you, is there a plan to file suit against them? I think we would sue everybody. Okay, well, that's, that's one way of doing it. And let me, let me ask you this. So the, the idea here right now, after this documentary came out, a lot of people have questions, and there's currently an investigation underway in Georgia. The Chicago uh, prosecutor, state attorney, said, come forward with any information. Are you, is there any concern on your team's part about these, um, the developments in light of these series? So I, there's no concern because he didn't do anything. So if people are going to make something up, I can't stop that. But no prosecutor has reached out to me. No police officer has reached out to me. Uh, and as far as I know, there's really been virtually no contact with law enforcement since they started soliciting people to come forward. I know here in uh, Chicago, there was some girl who came forward and said uh, when Mr. Kelly was 17 years old in her grandma's basement, she felt like he came on too strongly. I mean, give me a break. You know, that's that's high school stuff. 
So how does he plan on denying this? How does he plan on saying this? I, I, I read one thing that there's a report that Mr. Kelly plans on launching a website to discredit the accusers. Is there any validity to that? Uh, no, we're going we're gonna to sue everybody. That's how we're going to discredit it. Uh, he's out living his life. He was out last night. I was out with him last night. He was out, as you know, the night before at a club celebrating his birthday. And that's all he can do. You know, remarkably, one of the things that we found very interesting is in light of the series, downloads of his, show, of his songs and sales and audio, it actually went up. Um, which I think surprised a lot of people. What do you think that, what do you think the reaction is there? I think that people know these allegations are false. They love his music. He's a talented artist and, and they should love his music. He hasn't done anything wrong. There's no evidence that he did anything wrong. And I can tell you also, I have gotten bombarded with emails from people who say they know Mr. Kelly. They know these allegations are false gotten phone calls from people. I have a list of names of people who say they've been with him. They've seen the way he treats women. He's a gentleman. Okay, so these allegations are false. Does he plan on staying here? You know, one of the other concerns is that with everything happening, he might oh, jump yeah, on a jet. Going, Does he plan on going, staying he's here? He's going to Costa Rica, right, with B.B. Rebozo or whoever that is. He's not going anywhere. He's out in Chicago. He was out two nights in a row in Chicago. He's not getting his passport ready. He's not packing a suitcase. And, and he's not taking off for Timbuktu. Okay, so he's staying here, wants to deny everything. I guess the question is, if there was an idea, this, that, first of all, did he know the Lifetime series was coming out? Was there a plan on his part to try to stop it? Well, he knew the series was coming out, and they were notified that the allegations were false. They went ahead and still ran the series at their own peril, and we'll deal with that in due course. Right. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I guess the question is, um, how is he responding to the biggest development we've seen in the last 24 hours? The fact that his estranged daughter has come forward, Buku Abi, and said, you know, she spoke out against her father. Have you gotten a reaction from your client about that? I, I have not talked to him about that. I don't know if you know much about Mr. Kelly's lifestyle, but he tends to work at night in the studio at night, and then he sleeps during the day. So I learned about that this morning. I'll speak with him about it later today. But it's unfortunate. You know, his uh, ex-wife took off with the kids in the middle of the night, uh, made up allegations against him uh, in order to try and gain custody of the kids. Those allegations years ago, uh, more than 15 years ago, were fully investigated. They were investigated a second time when he had his, his legal problems here in Chicago, and they were found to be completely false. Unfortunately, he's estranged from his children. Right, and look, I, I, the thing is, is though, people are looking at this and saying, maybe if one person came forward, it'd be something, but there's a lot of people who come forward, including celebrities who have now denounced him and said they regret working with him, denounced their projects with him. What is his reaction to that, and what is your reaction to that? Are you talking about Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. I believe there's a band called Phoenix. I know Chance the Rapper has, has come forward. Well, Chance the Rapper likes to, to blow which way the wind is blowing. And I, and I know John Legend said something, but uh, he's doing some tribute to Elvis, who married Priscilla when she was 15 years old, I understand. And Lady Gaga, it's unfortunate. You know, I think she feels she has to do this in order to preserve her chances of of potentially winning an Oscar. I saw the movie. I didn't think her performance was Oscar worthy, but I think she has to do this to, to try and preserve her chances. She had no problem working with Mr. Kelly in 2013. Uh, his reputation, such that it is, existed then, and she was perfectly happy. Uh, so I think she's just doing it to, to, for her own personal Stephen, Stephen, these are serious allegations here. You know, these are serious allegations. These, these are retread that. allegations. These are retread allegations that have been investigated and there's no proof. There's well, no picture. They're currently being no investigated, evidence. right? I'm sorry, what? They're currently being investigated. There's no allegations currently being investigated. There's, if there was something being investigated, you wouldn't see prosecutors standing up and saying, hey, call us if, if you think there's something we should be investigating. There's nothing being investigated. If anybody's just joining us, I just got to ask you the final question, if I can. Are you saying that R. Kelly has never had any sexual relations with underage women, which is a constant uh, thing that's been in the press for, for years? That's, this has been a theme whenever you hear R. Kelly. This is something that's haunted him. Are you saying right here that he's never had relations with underage women? Well, there's rumors that he's done that for years. There's never been any evidence of it, except I understand that his first wife was apparently underage, 
But, and I certainly didn't know him back then. That was back in the 90s. She apparently lied on her application to get married and lied to him about what her age is. Unfortunately, we can't ask her about it because she died in a plane crash. All right. Stephen Greenberg, thanks so much for coming on and taking the time to talk with us. It's always, it's always exciting. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, a lot more to discuss here on Law and Crime.